Okay, welcome back everybody. If you can hear this, it's me stirring my cup of water with a spoon, because, uh, you know, I need to dilute my medication into it. Kind of forgot I had this. Now nah, there's like floating bits in the water because it's not completely diluting. That's why I need to stir it. Anyways, we have not exactly a new DLC, but just a new storyline. The epilogue. I'm sure you all know this. Oh, I, that's right, I can't go into Poke Portal in here. So go to the entrance. I think this is... Is this the first time Pokemon's done, like, an official epilogue for one of their games? Well, in order to start this epilogue, I believe you need to complete everything in the game in order to access this. You need to finish the main story, Kitakami... Blueberry. I'm not sure if you need to finish the, um, the whatever that's called, whatever we did before. Calling all the special coaches over. I'm not sure if you need to do that. You may only need to do the story for Blueberry, though I could be wrong about that. Anyways, we need to get this. The Mythical Petcha Berry Gift. They released an entire trailer for this one item, this one berry. Now, I have not seen what it is I need to do for this epilogue. I purposely avoided watching what to do. In fact, the only thing I got spoiled was, I kid you not, literally like five minutes before starting this, I saw a title of a video that was like, Possessed Trainer Music, and I'm just like, oh man, now I know something before I start. That's all I know, something about Possessed Trainer, and that alone tells a lot. And I also got an idea of what it is I need to do with this thing. I swear to god, if I don't know, if I can't figure out what exactly what I need to do, I'll just look it up. Alright, so we're going to key items, because it is a key item. All the way here, Mythical Petcha Berry. A Petcha Berry of the highest quality. It's said that a Petcha Berry tree carefully tended by an expert gardener will produce just one of these berries every few years. By the way the game makes a sound, this is like the Pokemon's equivalent of like a Miyazaki mango. Only even more valuable. Let's just uh, take a look at it, like just, just try to take a look at the icon. It comes with its own special box. One Pecha Berry. Man, let me tell you, that Pecha Berry, once I eat it, it better like, you know, cure all my diseases. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Let me just f fix up the, the order here. Yes, my team still sucks, okay? So I have no idea how long this epilogue is. So we'll just have to see. I believe to start it, we need to go here. Bleh, I, I'm not too sure though. We'll have to see. I'm pretty sure we need to head over here and not speak to this lady, but rather that thing right there. There's a dusty old decoration of some sort of of some sort mixed with all the daily goods and things. It's and it smells incredibly sweet. You know, I thought that was more of a plush and not a dessert. The decoration appeared to move a little bit. Oh, let me guess. Let me guess! I turn around, it's gone. Yo, Arvin here. I heard the news. You've been having all kinds of big adventures, huh, little buddy? And no invitation for me, huh? Just forgot all about me, didn't you? School trips, studying abroad. What luck! Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, oh, it's not that big a deal. Yeah? Man, I'm jealous to hear that. I wish I've... I could have gone along too. Now that I think about it, it's been one crazy thing after another since you came to our school. I guess you've still been real busy lately. 
but are you st are, but are things still uh, pfft, but are things starting to settle down I was thinking that if you have time and only if you want of course maybe I could come visit you at your house of course come, come right over is something wrong seriously it's such a relief to hear you say that and without even the tiniest hesitation come on come on boy like Come on, homie, why would I hesitate? You the homie right there. I feel like there's something poking me at the bottom of my tongue. I need to, like... Ah. Let me guess. Yep. Like, hey, hey, who bought it while I was looking away? What the? Yo, we playing Splatoon? Mochi Mayhem. Did this lady know she had something alive in her shop? Or did she just... What's the deal? Yeah, lady, I'd like to ask about that thing that was just sitting there. Like, what happened to it? Oh my god, what's going on? What's going on? It's the bottom of my tongue. It feels like maybe a tiny little hair is stuck be below my tongue. Man, this problem just started too. I didn't have this problem before I started. Anyways, Arvin said, my house. How long has it been since I've been to my house? Which is like, at the very bottom, the most the most remote corner, you know, of Paldea. Like, at the most edge you could possibly get. Hey look, Penny was just standing there. Friend! There she is. Oi! Hee <laughs> hee, figured I'd tag along. Figured I'd tag along. Hey there. You're all here! What's going on? Ah, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is all my fault. Sorry. You know when I called you and said I wanted to come hang? Well, it's these two overheard and... Well, we weren't just going to let you hog the chance to visit. It's way more fun to roll together. You say that, but who wants a bunch of uninvited guests? That's just rude. It's like, what do you mean uninvited? I invited myself. I guess if you're fine with it, then I can't really complain either. Okay, listen up, you two. We're not allowed to cause any trouble for Angus and her mom. Got it? We're gonna be perfect guests today. You bet. I don't know who you think you're educating here, but sure, whatever. That was such a great meal. Can't believe we got all that after we barged in out of nowhere. Your mom's cooking is so good. <laughs> right? She, she, and she's so pretty. My brain literally glitched when I saw her. A, the entire internet thought that as well. I'm so glad she remembered me. And look at this huge room. Doesn't uh, doesn't make you feel all boxed in like the dorm like the dorm rooms do. It's super cute, seriously, almost too much for me to take. Oh, I thought uh, oh, I thought it was gonna the camera was gonna pan to something in the corner. Oh, it's a Nintendo Switch. We have to tell you have to tell me what games you've got on this. Oh, some uh, shameless self plug there, Nintendo. Oh, you know, Penny, I just got Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on my Nintendo Switch. It's no big deal. Hey, wait a second. Those aren't... Wait, are those? 
Whoops, yo, pause, my bad. I didn't mean to zoom in on your, their, uh, Nimona. <laughs> like, yeah, those are the controllers I use. I thought I saw one gray. I love this Squovet plush. The, this fluff's to die for. Don't forget my Krogunk ball. How's everybody doing? Anyone want dessert? I was thinking of bringing up some dessert. Or bringing up some sweets. Sweets? Yes! Is that is that mochi thing that we saw about to appear on a plate as she brings it up? <coughs> uh, no, 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 no way! We couldn't possibly ask you for more food. We don't mean to be a hus- a, 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 a hustle? Wouldn't he mean like a hassle? Whatever. Hassle! I'm, there we go. I, I just spoke too soon. Hassle, I mean. We don't mean- we don't want to be a hassle. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, sweetie. No need to stand on- stand on ceremony. What? No need to stand on ceremony here. Just make yourselves at home and relax. Yes, ma'am. A letter came for you. It's from Kieran. Do you know a Kieran? The, the better question is, how did he know my address? My word, you've been making plenty of friends. All of these guys are going to be like, who the hell's Kieran? You cheating on us with other friends? I'll bring those sweets up f in just a few. I hope you all enjoy them. I'll come help. We about to hear a scream downstairs, almost as if a fly got into the house. So that that mythical is just floating around. God, I want to check out the sweets too. Your mom sure is nice and hot. You're real lucky. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Arvin. Your mom was hot too. Oh, but what about that letter? Aren't you gonna at least open it up? This looks more like a book than a letter in an envelope. How are you doing lately? I took a leave from school, so I'm back in Masui Town for a while. My sis came back with me too. I know we didn't get much chance to talk after everything that happened in the Under Depths. I'd really like to catch up. Think you could swing by a swing a visit to Kitakami? Carmine would love to see you, I'm sure. Maybe you could bring your friends from Paldea too. Included, I included plenty of tickets. Damn. Damn. Dude paid for like... Who knows how many plane tickets, you know? Who's this Kieran guy? Some new friend or something? Yeah, he's a friend. Why are they making it sound kind of kind of weird, hmm? Why Arvin sound kind of jealous? And why I sound unsure, like, is he a friend or is he more? It's like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, guess that's good for you and all. Angus, Arvin, you're not gonna believe how good this stuff looks. There's too much to carry upstairs. Come on down here and eat. Sheesh, that Nimona. Hasn't she ever heard of an inside voice? But I guess we'd better go or she'll just keep on shouting. You know, I did want to see these three meet Carmine and Kieran. I wonder if we're gonna see that. That is a very yellow chair. Oh, my poor gut. I feel like I'll burst if I eat another bite. I think you, uh, I think what you're trying to say is thank you so much for feeding us. It was all really delicious. Right? I'll help with the dishes and stuff. Oh, aren't you the sweetest thing? But no need to lift a finger. You kids just take it easy. Thanks, ma'am. You're the best. <laughs> At least amona has got manners. I'll give her that. Unlike this one. <laughs> was you, what? You saw the face she was just making? Huh? Why are you looking at me? Say, about that letter. What was that place your new pal mentioned? Kitakami or something? You really gonna go there to meet this Kieran guy again? Yeah, let's all go. He gave us free plane tickets, didn't he? Wait, what? You're going somewhere? Oh, uh... Did we miss something? Something good? Spill it! Of course, why did they need to cut the black for that? 
Are you serious? We're definitely going with you! I mean, the plane ticket's already paid and all, right? So why not? This Kieran kid was champion of a super elite battle academy, right? I've gotta meet him! More like, I've gotta battle him. Was it that obvious? I feel kind of bad though, like we just invited ourselves along, along on your trip without asking. I mean, he did say in the letter, bring your friends. The guy said to bring friends, and where are those friends? He even sent tickets for us, exactly. At this point, it'd be rude not to go, because, you know, the plane ticket's already paid for. It'd just be a waste of money. <laughs> yep, friends equals us. Ergo, we get the tickets. Uh, you bet we do. This will be my first time going on a trip with friends. It's kind of scary and exciting at the same time. You know, I still haven't done that yet. I've still never gone on a friend with, uh, gone on a trip with just friends before. <coughs> you know, the timings never worked out. Yeah, now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever taken a trip with a friend either. <coughs> I've taken trips with friends, you know, but also family was there. Like my family was there. I never taken a trip with just my friends only. No. No family, no parents, no siblings, no none of that. Just me and the boys. Never did that before yet. You're kidding. We, uh, well, this is going to be amazing. So get excited. Guess I better at least tell the housekeeper over at my place I'll be away for a while. Housekeeper? Why don't we take a break now? Why, wait, why don't we break for now? Do whatever prep we got to do and meet up again later. Sounds good! Let's say we meet up again in front of Mezagoza's southern gate! Roger, see you all later then. <laughs> Thanks for having us over! Oh, did Mona and the others leave already? Your friends are, are all such nice kids. It was really... I was really glad to meet them all. Now, and now it sounds like you're all about to go on a little adventure together, hmm? Well, have fun if you do, no fighting, and be sure to look after one another. Hey, where'd the Squovet come from? Where's my front door? Whoa, why is it suddenly foggy? Oh, that's not fog. That's, uh, what is that, the sunset or sunrise? I can't even tell what time of day, what time it is in-game. Doesn't matter. Wait, hold on, before I continue... Yeah, I wanted to do this. Just in case anything happens. You know, gotta get that monies. Meza goes a south gate, like outside the gate or inside? I assume I assume outside, you know, they're gonna they're gonna make us immediate they're gonna put us immediately into there once we teleport here. Yep. I have enough Pokeballs, right? Oh shit. Hey, over here, over here! That's not where I just came from. Alright, did you load up on travel snacks? Your bag full of grub? Why is bag capital? Oh my gosh, Dad, would you would you just drop it? I told you, friends! I'm going with friends! <laughs> Dad's like, hold on, is that a boy I see back there? You don't, and you, no, you don't need to be worried about it. We are perfectly capable of taking care of ourselves. Uh, no, it's not going to be an adventure. No one says that. Honestly, I'm hanging up now. Ha! Suddenly, I'm too tired for any of this. Did you get your old man's okay to go? Yeah, in the end. But I had to put up with his ultra-mega-annoying dad talk to do it. 
He just ultra mega cares, little bud. Oh, oh, yeah. Maybe you're right. I'm glad, you know, they don't have to mention it. They don't have to mention that, like, she's... <laughs> lucky enough to still have her parents. So, like, yeah. No one forgot anything, right? Then vamos, let's go! Let's go! Alright, so where exactly is an airport at this region? <laughs> That's a very good question. Where would there be an airport at Paldea? Oh, so this is Masui Town! You know, isn't this kind of crazy to think? We're seeing characters go and go to locations <coughs> we've been to before. We're about to see characters we know meet other characters we know but never interacted before. It's like a crossover happening, but it's all the same thing! It's all the same game! You all smell that, right? It kind of smells different than Paudea. Ugh, my head's still spinning too fast to see anything. Are we there yet? Maybe you wouldn't have gotten so car sick if you hadn't stared at your phone the whole bus ride. Sounds like me playing Pokemon Go whenever I'm in a car. And not driving, of course. But I don't... But I didn't know if we'd get signal here. I had to load up the internet good, goodness while I could. Load up on internet goodness. Why, hello there. Damn, that building really just popped up out of thin air. It, Haya indeed. I'm the tear, the, the, the tear caker here. <laughs> and it's a pleasure to welcome you to our town. Kieran had mentioned you all would be coming. Angus aside, this is everyone's first time visiting Kitakami, is that right? Yeah, that's the load. That's the long and short of it, load. I see, I see. Well, again, you, uh, you're most welcome. You can sleep here at the community center. All the rooms have been fr uh, freshened up for you. Whoa, now that's some thoughtful service. Ain't that their job? To always have it freshened up? Like, regardless of if guests are gonna, are gonna come or not? Haha, <laughs> it was no trouble. Now please, relax and enjoy yourselves. But most of all, enjoy Kitakami. Thanks very much, sir. So what about that Kieran guy? Have you heard from him at all? Uh. Excuse me? He has he doesn't have a smartphone? How is this kid even alive? You know, if this game was like 20 years ago, that that <laughs> that question would seem so ridiculous, but nowadays it's actually pretty true. How do you survive these days without a phone? He must not want any distractions from training. Think he's still at? Uh, think he's at his house? Should we go meet him? Maybe Kieran's too young to have a phone, right? Hey, aren't you guys gonna follow? Okay, let me check. Do I have enough Pokeballs? Seven sixty-six. I think I got more than enough. I don't remember buying that many Pokeballs for this game. Oh, Kieran! Hey, I see you haven't changed your hair back yet. Oh man, it's been a long time, has it? Thanks so much for coming. Sorry that I couldn't come meet you at the bus stop. Things have been crazy at home. We had it all in hand. It's it's great to see you. Ehehe, <laughs> thanks. But wait, did you come all by yourself? Of course not. Don't worry, your plane tickets weren't wasted. Yo, we're here too. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Nimona. Let's battle. You're Kieran, right? Angus told us all about you. Like how you're... 
<clears throat> like how you're great at Pokemon battles, right? Well, I don't know about that, but... Dial it back a notch or nine. You're scaring him. I'm Penny. I like a certain someone. I'm fine with taking friendships nice and slow. And I'm Arvin. Angus is absolute BEST friend. So not you, little punk. <laughs> Staking your claim right from the get-go, huh? I mean, you can't blame Arvin for having, like, attachment issues. Well, I'm Kieran. I met Angus when she came here for that school trip. That's when we became friends. Um, what else? Oh, I'm a student at Blueberry Academy. Or, I mean, I was a student there. I'm on a break right now. That doesn't mean that... Mm. Well, you still are a student. You weren't past tense. Whatever. Whoa, really? I know how that goes. Same thing happened to me. Penny, don't go sympathizing with the enemy. Enemy! I thought I could count on you to at least keep this interloper at arm's length. Eh, I just get the feeling you, we're, uh, we're pretty alike. Wow, your friends seem like a quirky group. Kind of like you, huh? Anyway, anyways, a friend of Angus's is a friend of mine. I hope you all have a good time staying in Kitakami. Thanks, now let's battle! <laughs> I, uh, what? That space in front of the community center looked like a great battle spot. Vamos, come on! Does she want me to go with her? Am I supposed to go battle her? Yep, go have fun! <laughs> Oh, you see my character's expression? It's like, yeah, kinda. That's how she is. Go have fun. Oh man, she's just as pushy as sis is, but, like, different. Oh no, I. I think I might have made a terrible mistake. This Kieran kid might actually be a good guy! Of course he is! He's friends with Angus! Yeah, yeah, that's true. Where's Carmine? <sighs> God, I am so bad with meeting new people, I swear to God. I am god-awful at meeting new people. So do I enter? It said go to the community center. Oh, I should have talked to them first. Wait, let me see if I still can. Before whatever else happens. Or maybe I am supposed to talk to them. Oh. What if I talk to Nimona, though? I got completely destroyed. Who the heck is Nimona, anyway? Ugh. Wait, she's a champion in the Paldea region? Oh yeah, makes sense she's so good then. <sighs> Kieran, you're not even touching your hair. You know, it's kind of nice seeing Kieran with this hairstyle and acting, you know, normal. Not just a, uh, an emo punk. Kieran, you're so good. That was awesome. No wonder you were the champion of that fancy pants school of yours. B -b 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 but I couldn't beat you. Does it really matter whether you win or lose? Pokemon battles are a blast. Win or lose, it's the road you choose. Well, that's one of the lyrics. I think later or earlier on in the song, it was the path you choose. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's right, Kieran... Yeah, that's right, Kieran has a history of losing, doesn't he? That's Nimona for you. You get used to it. You okay? Feel like running for the hills yet? Hey, now! Not at all! It was a lot of fun! Yeah, I really had a lot of fun. See? Oh, that uh, that caught me by surprise. Whoa, who the heck are you? She is wow. She is way taller than I expected. 
taller than even Arvin. Sis, you okay? Look at her eyes. Mmm. Mo. Mochi, mochi. What the fuck? What in the fuck? You know what? No, I'm just gonna let this run for a bit. <laughs> <coughs> What did they do? What? <laughs> what did they do? Uh, okay. Mochi, 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 mochi! Is this your big sister, Kieran? Do you think she wants in her battle? What? Do you think she wants? Why does I wants? Wants in on the battle fun too? Well, I'm sorry, Carmine, but this is like a terrible first impression you're giving off. And it's, you know, not your choice. There's no way that's what's going on here. Sorry, everybody, but could you help me just, um, carry my sis somewhere safe? You want us to pick her up and drag her off? I mean, if you say so. What the fuck? What in the fuck? <laughs> You sure you don't want to stay with your sister? She should be okay. Gramps and Grandpa gr and Grandma uh, look after her during the day. They, but they must have taken their eyes off her for just a sec earlier. <coughs> Why were they looking after her? Sorry for making you all help out with that. Oh, I mean it was no big deal <coughs> at all. Happy to help out, but. Yeah, I gotta ask, is everything okay with your sister? She seemed pretty, uh, riled up. She's not usually like that. Well, that's a relief. I think she's just really excited to get to meet you all. Really, she wasn't that excited to meet me at the, f at the start. You really think that's what that was? Hey, now that you mention it, her eyes were a totally different color. Yeah. That's got to be why she's dancing that weird dance and screaming mochi mochi. How long has she been doing that? Are you sure nothing happened? <laughs> yeah, how long's it been? I mean, she's been like that since you sent that since I sent you that letter. That doesn't answer me, man. How long ago did you send me that letter? She was already dancing and all by the time Dancing and all, by the time I woke up the next day, no explanation. I guess that isn't normal, is it? Whoa, this music. Talk about a 180 shift in tone. Maybe the other folks in town are right. Maybe there really is a curse. Wait, it could be a curse? Wow, this trip took a real sudden dive into horror movie territory. I know zilch about curses, but could something like this uh, have happened before? You ever heard any old stories or legends about it? I don't know. Angus already took care of the whole thing with Ogre Pond and the Loyal Three. Sheesh! You really just rolled on through this town like a little hurricane, huh? My sis may have no filter and be inconsiderate and push people's buttons. But I'd still rather see her be her old self than whatever this is. Yeah, for sure. If there's anything you'd like, uh, you think we can do to help, just say the word! What? Sure, we'll help you out. I definitely don't believe in horror movie tropes like curses anyway. Yeah, sure. <sighs> yeah, let's do this. If we're gonna get to a... If we're gonna, if we get to battle a curse, I'm so here for it. You guys sure? You don't mind? You can count on us. No, all of you. Thank you. 
It's too late to start today, but I'd be real grateful if you could help me out tomorrow. First, we're uh, first we're gonna have a proper welcome party tonight at the community center. Wow, okay. It's too late to help her ass with whatever's going on with her. Tonight, let's celebrate! Let's party! I feel like Carmine would have loved to join the party. Damn, Arvin, you good? You blinking out of existence? Alright, while I just head on over, you guys just stand there. All right, we about to party it up. Is there chips and dip? Where's the soda at? Yo, where the hoes at? I got some soda. Sugar and carbonation, my two love languages. You find uh, you find peaches all right? Yep, no problem. It's so close by. It's like three footsteps and you're there. It's that, it's that shop where, you know, that mochi thing was, right? <clears throat> there was nobody there, so I just left money on the counter. Do you think that was okay? Oh yeah, the old lady who runs it steps away sometimes, so everybody does that. No worries. Man, I can't imagine anyone getting away with that back in Paldea. Wait, Nomono, what's all over your mouth? Were you eating snacks without us? When I see a help yourself sign, I don't ignore it. There was just one mochi left though. Hey Kieran, do you have any idea how to change the channel on this TV? It keeps playing this same tourism video over and over. You could not be lazy, walk over and press the buttons on the TV. Oh, the caretaker hit the remote somewhere, so that video is all we get on the TV. Okay, crew, new go. Find that clicker so we can all watch a movie or something. Why would we watch it in the lobby? Don't we have our own rooms, and don't those rooms have a TV if this is a community center? I'm thinking, like, a hotel. Like, hotel rooms would have TVs in them. Does a community center have that? Like... Community center rooms? I actually don't know. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? We just need to find it. Oh, uh, huh? Why didn't I think of that? Time to search this place top to bottom, and then I vote we play games on that big screen. Yeah, did I bring my Nintendo Switch? I could just dock it HDMI into that big TV screen. We could play Mario Party, Mario Kart. Yo, we can boot up some Smash! You know? We got... Uh, they support more than four players now. They have for quite some time now, ever since Smash 4 on the Wii U. It's like our little treasure hunt. Everyone grab a corner and start searching. Or we can press the buttons on the TV itself to change the channel. You know we don't need a remote to change the channel on the TV, right? There's even there's even the option to change the input right on the TV. We don't need the remote. How about this then? Let's say that whoever finds a remote gets to decide what we do. Hey, Kira, no fear getting a head start. And then uh, and then Penny just walks away like a civil person. <laughs> Uh, find the TV remote. In the bathroom, of course. No. I don't have my third eye. I can't just do that to look. Get up! Uh. Oh. There's something in this planter. Who the hell calls it a planter? You found the remote control for the TV. Now why would you put it there? Why not just put it inside like a cabinet behind the desk? 
What? No way! That means you get to choose what we do! Wowzers, of course you find it first! Hey, friend, you agree with me we should use the big old screen to play games, right? Huh? Where'd Demona go off to? Is she in the bathroom or something? No, I was checking around there earlier. I'm pretty sure she, I would have seen her go in. Well, you all had your heads turned, so maybe she went in after you stopped looking. She didn't head into the bathrooms in the back either. The, wait, no. The rooms in the back either. I was by the door to the hallway this whole time. I think I know what's going on. She went to buy more snacks! Oh, she's just waiting to jump out and scare us. Look at Penny face deep into her phone. Hmm, I tried her phone, but she's not picking up. You tried calling her? I didn't hear her phone ring or anything. That's weird. Huh, that is weird. So, does that help us figure out where she is? No! No, that does the opposite. Hmm, maybe she was so set on finding that remote that she went outdoors to look for it? I guess that makes sense. Maybe she forgot to get something at the shop? I just hope she didn't wander out of town. Kitakami's dangerous at night if you don't know your way around. Really? I was completely fine navigating at night. Uh, Arvin, Penny, can you two stay here for now? What? But... What if she comes back while we're all out? We have a better chance of finding her if you stay here. And you can call us... And you can call us if she does. Okay, uh, that's true. Okay, be careful out there. We'll hold down the four till you get back. I was about to say, that was pretty stupid cuz you know why would we split up when searching for someone missing outdoors at night but he makes a good point if she does come back which we know she won't if she does don't you think if she did come back we would see her you know walking through the front door <clears throat> Huh, there's still some people out? It's hard to tell with, with the sun down, but I think those two are workers from the orchard. Orchid, whatever. I think it's Orchid. Why don't we ask them if they've seen Nimona? Uh, your eyes look pretty possessed to me. Excuse us. Don't do the chicken dance again. Anybody in there? We said excuse me! No, I'm kidding. Swear to God, do not do that chicken dance. Something's off about them. Mochi. Mochi. Mochi? Mo, Mo. Oh my god. What the heck? What's going on? Oh yeah, they really outdid themselves this time, Game Freak. Oh, what? Well, at least we have the type advantage. Oh, let me take a wild guess what you're gonna say. Yep. Is this the possessed trainer theme that I didn't listen to earlier, but only saw the title for? Oh, wait, they each have two. Kieran, swear to god, you better hit Salazzle. And with the water type move, too. Mochi? Well, it's a good thing I put the amulet coin out now, didn't I? Huh. <sighs> that 
that Nurse Joy character back there is not even paying attention. She's just on her phone. Okay, a victory bell. I feel bad for these trainers, Pokemon. You know, they have to obey their trainers, but, like, their trainers are kind of MIA in the head right now. This sounds more like a song I'd hear in, like, a disco. Or like a, a roller rink. No, more like a roller rink. I can see myself, well not me, but I can totally see this song playing when like roller skating. Mo. Are you gonna say Chi? Chi Chi. Oh, these trainers. <laughs> these trainers are possessed. Their Pokemon died and they're still giving me money. Oh, chi, chi. Phew, that scared the snot out of me. <coughs> What's gone into them? They were perfectly fine when we saw them yesterday. <coughs> what the heck is going on around here? They were acting like Carmine. <laughs> Are you serious? Hey, you're right! The weird dancing and yelling. That's what my sis was doing. You seriously didn't notice? Did these two get wrapped up in this world? Whole, not world. Whole curse thing too? Oh man. Oh, oh. I see, I see, I see a certain someone back there. Oh man, I can't believe Nimona vanished at a time like this. We could really use her help. Hey, there she is! She looked, uh, sure looked like her, all right. She ran off toward Kitakami Hall. Why? Come on, we should go after her. I feel like we should call Arvin and Penny. Like, hey, we found her, but she's running off. You guys better come too. It's like, hey, how hard was that? You know, it kind of seems like all hands on deck would be appreciated here. Or not even just appreciated. It would be smart. Shouldn't it be like, you know, like, you run off after, uh, after Nimona. I'm gonna go call Pe uh, Penny and Arvin, and we'll meet you there. Wouldn't that have been smarter? Supposed to go that way? What? You two weren't here a moment ago. Oh wait, it's it's Grandma and Grandpa. Hello there, Kieran, and to you too. Oh, I thought you two were gonna be possessed. What are you both doing here? Is Carmine okay? And did you see a? Uh... Oh, I thought Grandpa was talking. And did you see a girl come by here? Slow down, Kieran. One question at a time. Carmine is at home, sleeping in her room. She must have tuckered herself out with all that dancing. Phew. So she's safe. We thought we'd step out for a while. Uh, for... Pfft, that's not what that says. We thought we'd step out while she slept to get some of her favorite noodles from the stall here. A taste of her favorite food might help snap her out of whatever is going on with her. Oh, yeah, I hope so. Good thinking, Grandpa. Now, what was that you were asking about some girl coming this way? Oh, right, everyone in town is acting all weird. And one of the girls who came here from Paldea went missing. She's wearing a school uniform, she's really loud and full of energy, about yay tall. Well, now that you mention it, we did run into a girl wearing a uniform not too long ago. You spoke with her, dear. What did she say? Dearest? 
have some mochi. Wait a second. Mm, I don't need any mochi at the moment. D -d 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 Deer, have some mochi. Eat it. Eat the mochi. Those look more like donuts to me. So, are you telling me people who eat the mochi become possessed? Because I thought this Pokemon was possessing them to crave mochi. Grandma? This is awfully sudden, dear, but I suppose if you insist... Oh my fucking god. Munch, munch. Alright, I've had some mochi, dear. Now, can we get back to the question? Hmm? G -g grandpa you okay? Mochi mochi! Huh? Hey, where'd that plate just go? You've gotta be kidding me! Where'd that plate just go? Are we gonna battle these two now? Oh yeah, it seems like it. Hadiko and... I didn't see the other name. Hadiko and Yukito. I think this is our first time learning their names. Damn, this could have been really serious, really cool, had they played... Had they not played this goofy-ass music. This goofy-ass roller skating music. Damn, Grandma and Grandpa are packing! Because these, these two are at level 80! I hope you're confident on that gamble there. Ugh. Mochi? So, did Nimona eat the mochi? Very nice. Oh man, why do you have- why'd this have to happen? I guess we've got no choice but to beat him! You know, this would have been really cool, like a, uh, a possession storyline. You know, it kind of reminds me of Walking Dead. You know, they're infected now. I mean, they're not going to tear us apart, but, you know, you ideally don't want to be infected. It's like, it could have been so cool had they not played this goofy-ass music. Nice, target one at a time. Thank you for not attacking me. This is not what I expected in the epilogue, not gonna lie. I didn't even notice those were Hisui and Growlithe statues back there. Never noticed that. Mo Chi. Oh man, no way. Gramps and Grandma too. Everyone's losing it. It's just a matter of time until it gets me. It's gonna. I'm gonna end up like all the rest of them. Sorry. I kind of panicked there. Thanks. 
Okay, let's think. Before Gramps started acting like Karma, he ate some of that weird mochi. Angus, how are you two doing out there? You okay? Yeah, thank goodness. Just hearing your voice is helping me calm down. We got worried because we hadn't heard from you in a while, so we decided to step outside. And things are weird out here, little buddy. We were attacked by all these folks shouting mochi mochi at us, and we couldn't spot you anywhere, so I was beginning to fear the worst. <laughs> you were fearing I died? We're holding tight by Peachy's place for the moment, but... Eeh, eeh, there's something here! There's something there, Arvin! Oh, Penny said that. Penny? What? Yeah. What's wrong? Are you two okay? Oh no, they're about the same mochi. Oh crud, this does not look good. Something, uh, something must have got them. Grandma, Grandpa, I'll be back, so don't go anywhere. I still want to find Nimona, but we gotta get to Peachy's and check on Arvin and Penny. Come on. Okay, just forget about Penny. I suppose it's smart that they're sticking together. Because normally, it would be like, we'll split up. You go after Penny, I'll go f check on Arvin and Penny. It's like, no, we stick together here. Oh no, they're they're in the position. They're, they they look like they've been possessed, or not. Their eyes aren't purple. There you guys are. What happened? Ah yeah, sorry about hanging up on you like that. Probably gave you the wrong impression. It was all Penny's fault, but uh, that doesn't matter right now. You're fine, so let's head over and find Penny. Not find Penny. Find Nimona. My bad. She went into full panic mode and ran smack into me with her head. She <laughs> so I dropped my phone. Dropped your phone? Phone calls float in the air. What do you mean dropped your phone? Can you blame me? Look at the people in this town. Something seriously wrong with them. Never mind whatever that weird thing was. Weird thing? What are you talking about? It was like round and little and weird. And just where is, where is this little hallucination of yours? You sure you weren't just seeing stuff? It was real! I really saw it! You sure did. Uh, psh, sure you did. I think I might have figured out why everyone is acting so strange. Until we know for sure- What? Hey, I didn't press anything. Wait, I, didn't, I, I couldn't even finish reading what he said. Whoa, heads up guys! There's something up there! That's really zoomed in. That looks like me zooming in. <laughs> Why are they smiling with- oh. It's almost like they lost budget when animating it. Hmm, is this mochi? It's kind of sweet. I like it. Wait, don't eat those. Whoa, what? So that explains where the mochi's coming from. This thing literally spits them out. I swear to God, if it wasn't for the stinking music... Had they played something more serious, it would be so much better. Arvin wasn't even- Arvin's not even fully committed, look! He, he's not moving his arms as hard as Penny is. Matter of fact, Penny is completely going in. Oh, I can only- I can only show concern for one of them. Mochi, mo- mochi. Huh? <laughs> is Arvin in Paris? He actually has the will, he's actually fighting back. 
But more importantly, I'm so I'm so sorry. If only I'd managed to warn them in time. Those weird mochi came from that thing. Look at Arvin trying his damnedest to fight it. Hey, no fair. That jerk's using them as a shield. We've got to find a way to get the two of them to calm down. Don't worry, in about eight hours when the Moji is out of their system. Oh my god, I gotta battle these two now? Am I... Oh, I'm definitely gonna save the game here. I hope these two have a full party of six. Because that'd be cool. Definitely want to attack Umbreon first. Oh, look at that! We actually saw them animate her taking off her hood! Oh, they only brought three with them each? Oh, that did way less than I expected. No, oh, you should have used close combat on Umbreon. Wonder if these guys are gonna terrestrialize. Oh, you see a dancer back there too. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Yikes! Uh, my Skeletor is not in a good position right now. Can I get a crit, please? Nope, of course not. Thank you, that's one threat taken out. Ah! Eevee! Ichi! Mochion! Man, that actually... If we got a Fairy-type evolution for Eevee that was not Sylveon, I imagine they probably would have gone with Mochion. Given how many... How many, you know, Fairy-types are based off of food. Ah, uh, that... That Cloyster is a bigger threat. Now, I highly doubt Polyrath can take out Sylveon in one hit. Nope, not even close. Don't attack me, don't attack me, don't attack me! Okay, good! Excellent! I figured it would be... Ooh, my boss stiff! Ah. Up, oh, lower my attack all you want, that's fine. Uh, oh, I just noticed that Sylveon is level 85 compared to Mabostiff 83. I'm still gonna try Mabostiff. Or not, I guess Sylveon it is. Hey, I appreciate the outspeed there. Wait, lost some of its HP? Do you have a life orb on it? Because Hyper Beam shouldn't lose HP. I guess that would explain why it managed to get a one hit KO. Leafeon, alright.
Michi. Mochi. God, how many times did I say mochi today? Hey, don't let that little thing get out of, get out of sight. Arvin Penny, I'm real sorry, guys. Where do you think you're going? You're next. You gonna throw another master ball? Fast little thing. Uh, you go alone, you're gonna end up eating that mochi too. Okay, I guess we're just gonna completely forget about Nimona. I'm amazed you haven't <coughs> been taken over yet. And you don't even bother. Well, your eyes are already purple. So it's like, we couldn't really notice anyways. <coughs> so, do I need to go to... Where do I need to go? Ah, I figured it'd be here. I fully expect to have to battle Kira now, or not. Never mind. Nimona didn't even run this direction, though. <laughs> Man, that just that that was just too goofy there. What? Okay. What a surprise. What a surprise. I should have figured. Mochi mochi match! Did she just say match? Guess even the mochi couldn't override her battle mania completely. Runt run. She just called Nimona a runt? Oh man, it's got control of Nimona. There's no way I could hold her off. Uh oh. Oh, jeez, I didn't expect an entire army. Look at Arvin just dancing the slowest out of all of them. Even Carmine got out of bed just to join the herd. Everyone from Masui is coming here. You handle them. <laughs> Watch my back for me. Right, good luck. I'll focus on keeping the villagers from getting any closer. You do your best with Nimona and whatever that thing is. Maybe everyone will go back to normal if you beat it. Once again, like I said, just wait like eight hours. Once the mochi is out of their system, they'll be fine. I'm glad I healed up my Pokemon before this. But, uh, she's likely... She usually sends out her Lycan Rock first. What did I say? What did I say? Mochi, let's have Mochi full match. Man, if I were to swap them now, this thing will set up its, uh, what's the move called again? Um, Stealth Rock. Oh man, I really should have put Palafin out first. That way I could wave crash and prevent. You know what? I saved the game. I saved the damn game. I can do that. I absolutely can. I should have done that, but against my better judgment, because I knew she was going to start with, uh, with with Lycanroc. So against my better judgment, I did not put something else in front. That's what I get. This is a long-ass epilogue, but then again, it's because I'm reading it all. If you were just a <clears throat> button mash and skip through all the text, it'd be much faster. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> Load up the game, this playful music, and then we just see her doing that. They couldn't have made them dance any other way. They just had to do the chicken dance. Oh, that wasn't enough to take it down. Ooh, that's good mochi. Nimona's lust for battle is breaking through the curse. Ah, uh, you know what? That may be kind of stupid. Well, it's set up to Stealth Rock regardless, so, you know, no point. I mean, had I, you know, had I used, say, like, Wave Crash, I probably could have O-Code it. Preventing Stealth Rock. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch, and I'm gonna start building up that Torch Song. Sacrifice a little bit of HP. Don't nuzzle me, okay? Double shock. A Como O. Oh man. Uh, should I? You know what? Yeah, I lose the build up. But yeah, I, I really should send something else. Uh, something else out against Como O. Even though this is still a risk, because I am weak to fighting. Of course. Hooray! Man, I don't have anything against a Milotic. Uh, just pure water. I don't have anything against pure water. I suppose since my uh, my my pseudo legendary is already out, I'll just keep him out. Okay, at least Training Kiss doesn't do that much. And it didn't heal that much either, so I can't, I should be able to knock it out. Mm. You know, I'll send out Armor Rouge, since Skeledurge is quite damaged, and also the uh, Amulet Coin effect is already set. It's already done anyways.
You're actually terrestrializing? Let's see if she changed the terror type or not. Oh yeah, she did! Okay, then this will pose a problem for us. Yeah, because, you know, we're kind of weak against... Well, wait a second. You used Shadow Claw. Why? Why didn't you use a Dark Type and get the stab off of it? Well, that was kind of stupid. That All that really did was just get rid of the fire weakness. Mochi skills. Mochi. Cha cha cha. Mochi cha cha cha. Defeat the mysterious Pokemon. Uh. You know what? I'll, I will have Palafin out front. Now it says defeat. I don't know if that means catch it right now. Why does this thing's design look so familiar? Uh, I don't know if I should terrestrialize yet. Whoa! Wait a second. This is a this is a remix of the song. Hey, this beat kind of goes hard. Hold on, this new remix actually kind of goes hard. It is a new remix, right? It sounds a little different. You know what? I should probably heal. Man, I get I get that I get a view of everyone dancing behind me, dancing to this song. It might not actually be a remix, but it sounds like it to me. Oh, well, at least this part sounds normal. The beginning sounded a little bit more revamped. Oh my god. Well, I, all I can do is just damage before I die. Do I risk healing or You can't hold out much longer Boy you're not doing shit Okay good Look, it's slowing down. Now's your chance. Catch it in a Pokeball. I hope in the future we get more storylines like this where we actually catch the mythical Pokemon ourselves. Subjugation Pokemon. It feeds others toxic mochi that draws out desires and capabilities. Those who eat the mochi fall under Petcherunt's control, chained to its will. 
Whoa, that pop sound. Level 88. Pretty cool. Ma malignant chain. Poison puppeteer. Pokemon poisoned by Petrarun's moves will also become confused. And no no ribbon. <clears throat> Is it always timid? Is that already predetermined? Hell yeah, I got it. Then everyone else should be... Uh, where'd Carmine go? Hmm? Where are we- well, what are we all doing here? How do we end up at Loyalty Plaza? Everyone's back to normal! Damn, he dashed over! You see how hard he was running just now? Last thing I remember is getting to the shop. What happened? So first, and after that, but then they all... Seriously? So all that mochi mochi stuff was because of some Pokemon? See? See?! I told you it was real, unlike dumb horror movie tropes like curses. That round little monster was behind everything, just like I said. Imagine if they said that round little po uh, pocket monster. Err, uh, when did you say that? Anyway, Angus went and caught the thing, as she does. Yeah, she sure she does. Sure she did. Uh... Well, so, wait, what about Nimona? No, nah, my question is, where's Carmine? <clears throat> uh... Please don't say Mochi Mochi! Let's battle again! Oh, nah, she's just playing with us. God, the curse wasn't lifted! Huh? What's going on? Did we find the remote? That's what you want to know? Sheesh, glad you're back to normal now at least. <clears throat> yep, more than everybody, everybody. You know, I had this crazy realistic dream that I was battling Angus. Why did she just say mochi if the curse was lifted? It was awesome! Sign me up to have that dream again! Mona really is... something. Yep, sure is. There she is! What the heck is going on? Why is everyone up here? Someone better start explaining! Actually, huh. What a weird feeling. Somehow it feels like I'm seeing you for the first time in ages. Holy hell is she tall. She's not, uh, she's not even going to be like, uh, so who are you guys? Several days later. Head home to Paldea. Ah, uh, so we all satisfied? So we're heading back to Paldea already, huh? We caught we all we got caught up in pretty in a pretty hairy situation, but this trip was still a blast. My arms and legs are still killing me from all that dancing. Yeah, you know, a warning to stretch before getting possessed isn't really how it works. All packed here. Everyone got their stuff together. What what do I what happens if I talk to you? Do you want to change your clothes? Wait, change your clothes? Want to change the setting for the upper and lower borders of your menu? No. I thought she was asking me to change my clothes back to my different uniform. <laughs> well, it kind of sucked we didn't see Carmine, like, officially meet these guys. 
or see all five of them hang out together. I guess you just have to imagine it. It all happened off screen. Oh, this somber music again. Are you really are you really going home already? No one would mind if you stayed longer. <clears throat> Yeah, you better. Thank you all so much for coming. Nah, we should be the ones thanking you for showing us such a good time. And the food, man. Everything we ate here was so good, except for that mochi. The festival was a lot of fun, too. I even got to buy a VV mask. What more could you want? Uh, well, good. I'm glad you liked it here. Time really flew by. Just goes to show how much fun we were having, huh? Wish I could have fit in more battles against both of you, though. Are you kidding me? You battled each of us a dozen times or more! Welcome to, welcome to the Nimona Survivors Club. I'm really, I really am happy I got to meet you all. I've been thinking a, uh, I, pfft, I've been thinking about it a lot. And I'm gonna give Blueberry Academy another shot. I'm really gonna go for it this time. You've got this. I mean, it's not like you failed the class. I guess that means my vacation's over too. Time for me to head back to school too then. Hey sis, thanks for like coming with me here and everything. This has been great. Seriously, I'm real glad I got to come here and meet you all. And Kieran, I really am sorry for trying to flex on you the way I did when I first got here. Huh? You were? I didn't even notice. Don't worry about it, Arvin. Feel free to flex on Kiki as much as you like. I'll allow it. Okay. Wow, looks like Carmine's another one with a big personality, huh? Yeah, sorry about her. It's like, what? Excuse me? Who do you think you're apologizing for? And you guys, what do you mean by big personality? Whoops. Okay, the end. The end! <laughs> Weird way just to pop up the end. So, none of us are even going to discuss the Pokemon that I just caught. It's like, hey, yeah, what about that thing you just caught? And, yep. Just because the story is over, I need to leave this building before I can go. Well, the nice thing is, you know, there's a uh, one less mythical for my living decks I don't have to worry about. Because, you know, in my living decks, this may come as a shock to you, but in my living decks, everything isn't a Pokeball, if I can help it. Everything isn't a Pokeball except for mythicals and events, because those only come in, poke uh, pfft, in Cherish Balls. So, one less mythical for me to worry about, and you get to catch it yourself in a Pokeball? Excellent. Fantastic. A lot less work for me to worry about. Uh, I need to go to... Wait, hey, what's this? Oh, he's not even here. Damn, he really goes through a whole lot of snacks, doesn't he? Those look like Twinkies. Or at least the packaging reminds me of them. Up, uh, he maps out the battle arena. He, man, look at, look at this guy. He just has... Pokeballs and potions lying around. He has those, uh, those as well, like zinc and stuff. Aw, that's nice. He ke he kept the mask from when we did all that stuff in Kitakami. He has a Hitmonlee poster, a Malamar Flygon, and Arcaludon poster. 
He, he just has a hoodie on the uh, the rim of his bed. Whoa. Those look like Ramune bottles in the sink. Man, it always irritated me that I couldn't get the marble out of it. I don't think there would be anything here. Nah, see? Look at how tidy her room is. <sighs> okay, so now that we've done that, oh, look at that. Look at who we have left to do. And, uh, wow, you see I have uh, so much BP left. I have a whopping zero BP. Now, Nimona, I can understand being a special coach, but, like, why these two? I understand, like, story, like, for us, our perspective, it makes sense, but, like, why would the school call these two random students, of all people, to come by and basically, like, teach a class? Inspire other students? You know, Nimona makes sense, because she's a champion, but why these two? Pfft, just a... Just a nothing pose. And you know, I'm kind of surprised that they don't let you invite the five Team Star characters. Like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna let us invite all the characters we met in this game, you may as well let us invite all of them. Oh well. So, I've got some BP to grind for off-screen in order to, you know, finish all that off, get those three done as well. Alright, so we have finished the epilogue. Next time... Well, I believe we have a terror raid to do next time. But next time, after that, we will battle those three twice and then do their trades. So, I'm going to end this here since I'm done. I got nothing else to do. I'm not going to drag it out for longer than it needs. Yeah, I'm going to end this here. Unless there's something I didn't know about or forgot to do. Alright, so, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this epilogue and all the goofiness that came with it. And I'll see you next time. I really have to pee, and also I'm gonna go check out what's wrong with my tongue. It's been bothering me this whole time. See ya.